The thought of filming myself getting intentionally envenomated by a large centipede has been sitting in the back of my mind for quite a while now. And as I already had taken a couple good bites from centipedes in the past, I knew what I was going to be up against. And perhaps even to my own surprise, I eventually decided that it was time to go for it. And I'd also like to apologise in advance for the speed of my talking. I was admittedly rather nervous and I don't think I need to explain why. Well, the time has finally come and uh, it's probably going to be a surprise for most of you because I didn't really announce it at all. But I am going to be bitten by this centipede right here and she's actually the biggest centipede that I currently own. She is an adult female Ethmostigmus rub rubpes from far north Queensland. You've probably seen her in quite a couple of my recent videos. I'm not going to go overly in depth about centipedes in this video quite simply because one, we all know why you're here, you want to see the bite, and two, half this channel's about centipedes, so if you want to learn more about them you're going to be spoiled for choice. Bit of casual advertising, but yeah, by all means check out some of my other videos. But like I said, I'll do a bit of a brief introduction. So, adult female Ethmostigmus rub ripes, and this is the largest species of centipede that we have here in Australia. The second biggest is Scolopendra morsitans, which is predominantly an arid species, and they can get quite large as well, but nowhere near as bulky as rub ripes do. She measures about 17 or 18 centimetres body length, which is a pretty sizeable individual for her species, but not quite max size yet. They can get over 20 centimetres, but I'm not quite willing to get bitten by one that big just yet. Now, of course, before I do anything with the centipede, what I'm going to do is roll up my sleeves. You can take it from me. Long sleeves and centipedes are about as good of a combination as Disney and Star Wars. I'm not going to explain precisely why, but I'll just let your imagination run wild. I've had a few accidents involving that sort of thing. Now, I and many others will refer to a centipede envenomation as a bite, but technically that is not quite accurate. A centipede's venom injecting apparatus, a pair of appendages known as forcipules, are actually modified legs. They are not mouth parts, in fact they are not even part of the head. So a centipede envenomation is by definition not a bite. Really, pinch is a more accurate term, however, you know, I'm lazy. I'll just, I'll just fully commit to that, so we're calling it a bite for today. Now comes the part that you have all been waiting for, and I'm not going to delay any longer because, well, delaying the inevitable never helps. So I think we're actually going to go for the bite now. Now getting the centipede out of this container will be a rather tricky task. I do have something of a plan, but as you have seen with my various centipede rehousing and unboxing videos, things don't always go to plan when centipedes are involved. What I'm intending to do is guide her up the side of the enclosure, and then when she reaches the top, I will grab her head with these sponge-tipped tongs, bit of an improvisation on my behalf because I don't want to injure her. She is first and foremost my pet. Come on. Come on big fella. Big girl I mean. There she goes. So yeah, the plan, I will guide her up onto here and then she's just going to wander along the edge. She's not going to have many places to go. And then I'll grab her just below the head with the tongs. If she could slow down, that would be great. Come on. Just need her to get her head back up. Right, 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 right. Oh. <laughs> what was that noise? Oh, oh. Okay, okay, I missed, missed my chance. My hand-eye coordination is coming into play once more. Okay. Time for another round. You stole my tongs. What am I supposed to do? See what I said about thing? Oh, there we go, there we go, come on. No, no, don't come back. No. What are you doing? 
Remember I said things involving centipedes don't always go to plan? Uh, well, point proven. Yeah, we get it. You're, you're the king of the castle. I know. You have the high ground. Whatever. Can you just, you know, just cooperate, please? What are you doing? What are you doing? You idiot. Come on, just walk along the edge. I need my tongs back. Why do you like my tongs so much? There we go, there we go. Just grab the head. Okay. So we got a head. My god, those four spules, they're, they're intimidating. Oh no, she's pulling back. Okay. I feel like I've almost missed this chance. Gonna have to... Nah, she's pulled her head too far back. This is really annoying, but I'm gonna have to try again. <laughs> Alright, so we got a good grip on her now. Uh, I think I got no other excuses. It is time. In three, two, don't stop pulling your head back. Okay, attempt number whatever. All right, Mrs. Centipede. Oh God, I'm actually doing this. You may fire when ready. All right, that was a warning bite. There was no venom in there. Thank you for that anticlimactic one. Nearly every time I've taken a proper bite, I've taken at least one warning bite in advance. So the next one won't be so easy. Mrs. Centipede, maybe give me a proper one this time. You may fire when ready. Not even biting. Come on, you idiot. Go for it, give me all you got. I want this over with, come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just go for it, go for it, go for it. Nope. Come on. Give me what you got. Give me your best this time. Give me your best. Come on. Another dry bite. Another dry bite. Really? Really? I just want this over with, okay? No more messing around. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's a good one. Is it though? I don't know. She held on. I don't know. I, that was not a proper bite. Well, no, no, not, 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 not. Don't do that. Now that one, there was venom involved for sure. It is starting to hurt a bit. But as far as centipedes go, especially for one that size, that's pretty pathetic. All right. One last time. Please, make it count. Oh. Oh, Jesus. I st I still don't, these still don't feel like proper doses. It's all or nothing, baby. All or nothing. Seems like she's opting for nothing. No, don't just walk around. Oh. <laughs> Do 
Just bite me. I'm asking for it, come on. There we go, there we go. There we go, oh yeah, that's different. That is, that is definitely different. Okay. Now, you've done your job. Oof, yeah, that's starting to ramp up, okay. Come on, you can let go now, you can let go now. You can, I said you can let go now. Oh, even after the bite, you still don't want to cooperate with me. I'm not asking for much, madam. And seeing as I'm the one looking after your babies now, I would expect you to be a bit more polite to me. Thank you. All right, well, after a su The bloody airplane. Okay, so it took me a surprisingly large number of attempts to finally get there, but the centipede has given me a proper envenomation. I will confess it is not the most pleasant of sensations. At the moment, all that's really here is not too much, just a bit of bite marks and a tiny bit of swelling. But the pain will start ramping up. In fact, it's already ramping up a fair bit. And it seems to come in waves, and that is a trend that I've noticed with centipede bites in the past. The pain starts to come up in waves, sometimes fairly rapid, sometimes they're slow. It seems to be pretty random. And, uh, oof. I mean, I'll admit, I was kind of expecting worse. This is the biggest centipede I've ever been bitten by. I think I've taken worse bites from this species before. The last time I got bitten by one of these, it did hurt more than this, though on the other hand, it was in a worse location. The last Ethmostigmus rub ripers bite I took was to the tip of the finger just above the nail, and that was not very pleasant at all. This one, I mean, don't get me wrong, it hurts a lot. It is some of the worst animal-induced pain I have ever felt, but it's still reasonably bearable, and admittedly, the thought of the long bush walk back to where I came from while bearing this bite is hardly the most appetizing thing in the world. It's, uh, it's not exactly excruciating. And I think we can all agree that from the fact that this centipede was so incredibly hesitant to give me a even reasonably high dose of venom shows that these animals are not out to get you. They are not interested in biting people, they'll only do so in self-defense and, well, even when that time happens, they'll often give you a very meager dose. As we wrap up this video now, I would like to make it very clear that I do not want the takeaway message to be that centipede bites are not a big deal. Yes, this particular individual did decide to go rather easy on me. However, I can say from prior experience that Ethmostigmus rub ripes is capable of a good deal worse. And some overseas centipede species, notably those from Asia and the Pacific Islands, possess an absolutely brutal venom. If I were to wish that you would walk away from this video with anything, it would be the knowledge that in spite of their formidable status and honestly rather terrible reputation, centipedes are not out to get humans. They're simply predatory animals trying to mind their own business. Biting people is simply not on their agenda, and I think that this big girl demonstrated that perfectly today. Now, if you enjoy my content, then feel free to check out some of my other uploads. You won't be finding any other bites, but there should be plenty of other things to interest you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. So thank you all very much for watching, that is it from me. I'll see you again soon, and again, sorry for the fast talking. I was nervous.